this. In America, the richest nation on earth. County students tweeted out this photo of 15 year old Dominic Russell who refused to obey cafeteria staff. Well, I was in the hole, apparently $26, I think, and I'd already gotten my lunch and walked back to the table. Because Dominic owed nearly $30, a lunch lady laid down the rule now being enforced. And then they came and got me and made me go back up and told me to throw it away. Classmates held up signs in support, protesting staff, now penalizing kids who owe for debt on lunch. The lunch lady had been throwing away brand new food that hadn't even been like touched and because people have like built up a debt on their account. That was just humiliating for the kids that didn't have the money to pay you know for their lunch. Tonight a lunch lady decided to give out free lunch to first graders who had no money. Some calling it an act of kindness but she lost her job because of it. ABC's Clayton Sandell speaks to her tonight. Yeah, I was out. Della Curry knew she could be fired but she did it anyway. I was let go for giving away free food. Curry says she lost her job at this Colorado elementary school for giving a pass to kids who didn't have enough money to pay for lunch. I would have kids start crying when I told them that they didn't have money in their account. 14 years, Debbie Salsman worked as a beloved lunch lady here at Denver Place Elementary School in Wilmington. She says she would upgrade the lunch of a child who didn't have enough money or give them extra food if they said they were still hungry. If they didn't have enough money on their account, they would get a cheese sandwich instead with their sides. The other kids knew when they walked out into the cafeteria why they got the cheese sandwich. She says she also would hear stories of food insecurity. There was children that got a free lunch that would come back and say, Miss Debbie, I'm still hungry. Didn't you get your belly full for supper last night? And you don't know how many times they heard they didn't have supper that night. Solzman says she kept post-it note IOUs and paid out of her own pocket for kids, but the district suspended and terminated her this February for, quote, not keeping track of her register and providing food to her grandchildren without payment.